guys, welcome to today's video. Today, oh, you guys are crazy, crazy. Today I'm trying to decide the easiest way not to die. I do not want to die. Okay, I'm waiting for Sophie. Where's your jacket? I don't have one. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but in Ontario, Canada, at the moment, we are under ice. I'm a fast walking woman. It is icy. And we need to get down to the barn and it is scary. I need to get over there. Walk over here and walk in the snow. You're fine. Wow, it is crazy. You guys watch Sophie in case she goes down. <laughs> it's literally wild. I'm walking on the snow. Whoa, even the snow is icy. Holy heck. I just can't believe this. The dogs are running and all I hear is ice breaking. It sounds like glass breaking. Everywhere they go. It is pure, whoa, pure ice everywhere. I don't know if the horses can go out. Like look at going to the door. It's like walking on glass, slippery glass. Skate to the barn. It is insane. Anyways, good at morning guys. Welcome to today's video. It is another day in Ontario under ice. <laughs> Nothing better than the sound of your girl calling your name. I brought you guys a treat. To be honest, I'd rather see her clean in the mornings than dirty, but whatever. <laughs> She's such a dirty girl. Here, Pen, look. I had apples left over from, I should share with the ponies. I feed her apples when I come down so she lets me clean her <laughs> because she doesn't love it. <laughs> she does not love it, no. Oh, goodness sake. <laughs> she only tolerates it when I feed her apples. Lays down and it's messy all the time she's just like let me eat my food Alora. yeah oh feels good she loves a good ear scratch people say horses are not like dogs well obviously they're not like dogs but penny loves a good ear scratch well let's see wait we got bunnies oh sophie has treats too did you give them to the other ponies no all right you got a pink one. She's like, wow. Today is must be my birthday. I wonder when Penny's birthday is, actually. I must message her old owner and see if she knows when Penny's birthday is. She's like, okay. <laughs> All right, let's do the other ponies. Yeah, Sophie bought these Sour Patch Kids and she hates them, so. I actually do hate them. They're yeah. too sour. Yeah, so. <laughs> I just gagged. Yeah, so anyway, she wanted to bring them down and try the mares with them. She will not be giving them the whole entire bag. Just a couple of candies to see if they like them. The dogs, however, are like, let me try. Let me yell. Oh, Daisy spit it out. Oh, Molly spit it out. <laughs> Daisy eats them. Oh, Daisy's eating it. She likes red. Oh, nope. They all got spit out. <laughs> Yeah, they don't like them. Let's see if Gracie likes Sour Patch Kids. These ones are apparently are extra sour. She's like, yes, I do. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's try our mini. There's two green ones left. Two green ones left. So Minnie's getting a green one. Look at all those red ribbons. Yeah, those are from Storm or My Pony. Storm or Your Pony. Here go pony. 
Mmm, she's like, these are yummy. Yum. <laughs> They're so cute. Let's check the arena and see if it is actually safe. So basically, speaking of the Finn saga, I'm gonna make a video soon about Sophie and Finn's reign. Ow. Reign of amazingness, because do you guys remember? When Sophie first got Finn, she had never been to a show, he had never been to a show before. And Gabby, do you guys remember? Gabby ended up giving up her whole entire show series. She trained her first horse, Storm. She made him into the best horse she could make him into. They knew each other so well. Then she ended up giving up that whole show season because she chose to show Finn. And then Sophie showed Storm and she won so many ribbons on Storm and Gabby won nothing. But Gabby was so grateful anyways that she was just helping Finn come along. And so she went from that pony. If you guys remember that first show where Gabby showed him in hack? and he was like a torpedo, and I think that's even in the title of the video. It's like we looked across the show ring, all the little horses going around, whoosh, Finn was like a torpedo. And it was like almost scary, but Gabby did it. And then by the end of their reign together, Finn and Sophie were winning reserve champions all on their own, consistently, and champions, and consistently coming reserve champion at every show they went to, and like, it just was this beautiful story of how this little pony and this little girl came together. And yeah, so I'm gonna make a video about that. Maybe I'll do it today, I don't know. So that you guys can see the glory and the beauty that was Finn and Sophie and how, how much love you can give a horse and how it can change them. And yeah, so I'm gonna try and do that. But anyway, so let's get on with today's video. Enough about Finn and Sophie because Finn and Sophie are pretty much over sadly we were hoping to get another summer out of finn and sophie but it just does not seem to be in the cards for finn and sophie and that's okay that happens and we just gotta get past it move forward and i want to tell you guys one thing before we start today's video this is something that just keeps popping up in my life and i know it's popping up in your life too but i want you to know that even when things seem dire even when things seem like they're falling apart even when things feel like nothing good is happening and that everything is happening wrong, that God always has an ultimate plan and it just takes looking at it a different way to see how his plan is always ultimately better. God always knows that what is the right choice for you because he can see the whole entire picture. And so even though this minute, this moment, what's happening right this second doesn't seem amazing, ultimately it has a part in his great, big, huge picture and it'll turn out to be the most amazing thing ever. Like everything that happens to us, even the bad stuff, it's all a part of God's ultimate plan for us and it always turns out to be the way that is best for us in the end. I promise you that. Do you guys want to see the most satisfying thing ever? Most satisfying thing ever, you guys. Okay. It's satisfying. You know what's satisfying to me? Gabby coming down to the barn. <laughs> I don't think we can let the horses out. I think today is the day they stay in because most of the arena is under ice. There's like a big strip that's not ice and then the rest of the world is ice. I say we leave them in. All right, this is it. Prepare for satisfying. All right, that is satisfying. I mean, we could feed them over there. It's really cold out there. All right, now I want to have a turn. Can I have a turn? Lessons at our barn are temporarily canceled because we missed our lesson last night because of the ice. Like you can't, like the whole of the area where we live is under ice, so we can't. There's nothing we can do. But I think we're gonna feed the horses inside, and unfortunately, 
gonna have to stay inside. It's one of those things, you guys. Sophie, scoop the poop up there too. Unfreeze the poop so I can clean it. All right, so this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna try and clean Penny's stall with her in it. And the girls are gonna have to do the same. I think this is the first time we've left our horses in a really long time. But do you guys remember that video? Where we used to help Fiona, our old coach, with our horses, with her horses at the old barn before we even had horses. And one day we were helping clean stalls and there was a horse on. And they were all in. I don't remember why they were in. Or this horse was in. And Gabby put a wheelbarrow in the doorway so that, look at, she's like, just scratch me. Uh, Gabby put a wheelbarrow in the doorway so that she could clean the stall while the horse was in there. And didn't the horse, who was it, Journey or somebody, didn't he try and jump the stall, jump the wheelbarrow, and he did, and he escaped. And back then, that was like such a big deal for us because we didn't really know much about horses. Right, Penny Pickle? But we learned a lot fast. Yeah. Yeah, you love me. She's looking at me. She stares right in my eyes so she can figure out what's happening. When she stares in my eyes, it's literally like the craziest thing. Nope, you should have dressed warm, Soph. No, it's my hands and my feet. We'll go get some socks and mitts. No. Horse poop will wait for you. Throw some hay for your horses first. And then go... And Are then they staying in their stalls? They're staying in their stalls. Really? Yeah. I know, first time. Okay. All right. Go get your stuff and get your sister. Tell her to get her butt down here. Oh, I know. I'm oh all right. Well, let's get uh, let's get What's cleaning. <laughs> Daisy's like, this is not how it works. Everybody leaves. No, not all right, you. Penny, you have to back up. Go eat your hay. Go eat no. your hay. I'm gonna clean your poo. Okay. All right, guys. This is a true test. See those back feet moving? Usually, if I'm even close to her back feet. Oh. <laughs> all right. Well, there she goes. <laughs> Your horse won't stay in? She's part of the door. Yeah, they, so the littles like to be with their big save person, their, their herd leader, and that, so that makes it hard for them to have to stay in. Well, they their own space. Yeah, <laughs> meanwhile, this girl's over here eating hay while I clean her stall and she couldn't care less. Also, Gabby has arrived. Say hi, Gabby. Also, look at my dog. Like, it is just crazy. And it's just pouring rain in here. Look, that's a big heart shape. Gabby's standing in the middle of a heart shape. Quick, Gabby, run out! <laughs> Quick! <She's... laughs> Sophie found a good job for the pitchfork. And then she can just pick up all the pieces. Even dumping the poo in the poo pile is like dangerous. So Hopi says that it's not very icy in their paddock and it's true. Okay. It's not, but horses are notorious for not just staying in their paddock. Like they'll run anywhere they can and if they get scared, they're not careful. So um, they, come, they run through the fence and they run. And then poof, we got a lame horse. All right. We are done. Gabby's just cleaning up the last little sweeping bit here. We all have jobs in the barn that we do. We're gonna leave this door open. open. Yeah, Willow's like, I really need to be outside. So uh, we're gonna leave this door open. We're gonna leave the arena door open and just let them relax inside. Yeah, I'll give her a little bit more hay. I know, but I like to make sure if they have to stay inside, at least that they have what they need to feel okay. But anyways, uh, we will we'll come, we will come, my mouth is frozen, I can hardly talk. That's what happens when your mouth freezes. Um, we will come down at lunchtime, and because we come down and feed at lunchtime again, and reassess, you already pooed. I already pooed, Penny Pickle. Oh, you have a lot of hay. <laughs> what the heck, Laura? She doesn't need that much hay. <laughs> it's okay. I know. She's like, do you have more apples for me? I don't, but I will clean your eye. Oh, there. No, don't give her that. The dentist is coming soon. They're getting their annual checkup very, very soon. Probably in the, within the next month, they'll get their shots and all their, all their checkup, their teeth done. We did every single horse's teeth last year, except for who? Green. Who did we not do? Storm. 
Storm never needs his teeth done, but I think we did all three boys. We did all three boys. There was yeah. one of these. We did so many teeth last year. Like this should be a cheap year. <laughs> this is what Trixie's cage looks like, you guys. When it's all empty, we had to clean it all out. There was crickets everywhere in here. We had to put them back in here and let them eat and drink again. So these are her crickets, these are her worms, and then she has a bunch of salad to eat. We took all of her stuff, like all of her stones and stuff, and her hammock out of her tank, and Sophie wants to redo her tank and make it look gorgeous. Bought a really nice carpet to go on there, and then it got dirty, and instead of washing it, I think I threw it out, because I can't find it. Sophie wants to put plants in there. The problem with plants is that all her food can hide under there, and then it gets so, so annoying, hard to clean, and she can never find them. She's just not that good. So this is what it looks like now. You guys saw what it looked like before. We're gonna redo it and make it all beautiful and we'll show you in five, four, three, two. One thing I know for sure. What we have is something worth fighting for. With bad news knocking at my door. But I like it like that. We go all. Sophie did it all by herself. I love it too. Yeah, I think it's course. great. Mm -hmm. So the reason that we try to keep it simple before is because uh, literally all the bugs get behind everything. So we're going to put her in there and see what she thinks. Yep, yeah, here she is. Go in there, Trix. Go. She's like, I want to stay with you, Laura. So the only reason, the only thing is, is that when you change her habitat, <laughs> she's like, she has to lick everything to see if it's okay. She likes to, she feels confident when she knows where everything is, but she also likes to explore to figure out everything. This so, part's my favorite. Just yeah. like this and I love those fern plants that we bought. They are so cool. And Sophie put two hides in there for her. She doesn't usually go in a hide very often. Only well, if she gets- Well, there's actually three. One, two, three. She, yeah. Oh yeah, there's three. But she only uses those if she gets hot. Isn't that funny? Like, it, only if she gets hot. And uh, when we first bought her, we had like a bulb they recommended to us that was kind of overkill. And she spent a lot of time inside the hides. But now that we figured it out and changed the bulb, she's doing much better. I like it, Sophie. I love it. So now we need to give her, oh, and Sophie's going to give her water too. Yeah, she's so cute. She's like, this is my house and you changed it all around. <laughs> she doesn't seem that happy. But, oh yeah, see, look at her huffing and puffing. But also we cleaned everything. We washed everything. And you'd be shocked. Like, she only poops in one spot. So you think it wouldn't be, the whole rock would be messy. But all the cricket poop, like, they go up inside there. And I cleaned the inside of that thing. And it was all black water just from cricket poop. See? She's licking it. That's how, she, that's how she tells. Like, that's how she can figure things out. I like this thing the best. I love her rock, but I really love this thing because... I like this thing because, like, in the cage, the look of it makes it look, like, more formed. Rustic, yeah. But this thing, she can go on the bottom if it's too hot, or she can climb up the top. I don't know. It just seems rustic-y, too. So, just to finish off, I put her salad over there. If you notice that there's white stuff on there, we still give her vitamins. She gets calcium and calcium plus D3, plus she also gets a multivitamin. It and we, with the plants. Yeah, I put it over there so that she can keep that section clean. Like, this will be a trash. She'll have this all ripped apart in an hour, but right now, she just finished eating a bunch of crickets, so she's sunning herself. Yeah, That's, she makes herself... Wider she has to get what well, yeah the more yeah she expands her body so that she can absorb more sun more heat and uh, That's how she she uses heat to um, digest her food. I cleaned Daisy's cage. It was a mess before I am gonna put a blanket in it But I need to get a clean blanket. Yes, so explain the whole thing about Daisy's cage Um, so she brings everything she can find into her cage and choose it yeah, and she goes looking for everything she can get. I like socks, gloves, gloves, garbage. Yeah. Everything. She, as soon as we come. I found one of my Schleich's Rider arms in there. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Where'd also, the head go, Daisy? Where'd the head go, Daisy? The head is gone. <laughs> 
I so, think last night I bought a bunch of elastics at the dollar store when we were there and they went missing soon after I sat them on the coffee table. And I said to Sophie this morning, Sophie, I can't find my black elastics. You need to go find them. Poof. Wait, what is that? What is that? It was in Daisy's cage. They were look. This is what they look like all through Daisy's cage. All my black elastics. Gabby says we just gotta slide down, so she's gonna show me. Okay, go. Hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Goodbye. Goodbye. We're coming, horses. We're bringing you lunch! Don't cut your hands. Whoa, look at Holly! <laughs> even the, even the, it's like... Wait, it's okay, wait, I have a coat for her. <laughs> getting down there. The horses are not going out. <laughs> it doesn't work. I'm going the other way. We actually get here at the same time. Hey, was this door closed? I left it open. Open. I know you want to go out. Actually, it doesn't, well, it's still icy in here. Like this crunchy stuff is silky. I don't know. I mean, yeah, there's just too much ice. There's little bits of area for them to go. It's just not worth it to me. Got it. I swear last year when Penny hurt her leg, I swear it was because this one day she walked out and she slid on the ice right outside that door. So we're gonna throw lunch. And they're gonna have to stay in. I'm sorry, horses. I'm so sorry, but you're staying in. Oh, is it already cut open? How are we getting back up? I'm not following you on the I'm way back up. up. Here. <laughs> I think it will work really well. <laughs> 